the one-click solution to get all Mega Scans for free. In September, Epic Games announced that all of its content from the Unreal Marketplace, Sketchfab, ArtStation Marketplace, and yes, Quixel Mega Scans would be consolidated into one place. Fab, the new marketplace for all the things. With this announcement, we were also told that Megascans assets were no longer going to be free for use in Unreal and they would be moved to a paid option. But the good news was that Megascans assets would remain free until the end of the year before they went paid. Software engineer Jamie Fan made a script that would allow us to acquire the entire Megascans library into our Quixel accounts, and I made a video tutorial walkthrough on how to use it. But now that the Fab marketplace has officially launched, there's an easier way. Epic gave us a one click option to claim the entire Megascans library for free. All we have to do is go to fab.com and down here we'll find right in our face get all Quixel Megascans for free with this button that says claim now. So if we click this button it's going to ask us to sign in if we're not already so we can just click on this and there we go because I was already signed in clicking that just signed me in I guess but now we click this claim free Megascans and now we see this Megascans claimed and now I should have all of these Megascans assets the entire library library in my fab library. So we can see all of these in here. And if I were to say click on one of them, we come over here and we see you own this item and now you can download it. And of course we can see over here, we have the included formats of FBX and Unreal. But what about the old Quixel library? Well, if we go to quixel.com, we're met with the fab stuff here. We see um, what we saw when we came to fab.com before and we can go directly to fab, but also we can come up here here to this mega scans option and it's going to take us here to the old Quixel library site in which case it says we can go to fab from here but we can also stay here and when we do we see all of our stuff that we have so I come in here to my purchased and I see all of these things I can still come in and I can still download any one of these things but now what about our unreal engine projects where before we were able to come up here and go to Quixel bridge to attain all of our items that we we're going to use in unreal right now when we do that we open up bridge it gives us this pop-up that says visit fab.com or we can click on this stay here option and it will bring us back here now of course what happens is we do want to make sure that we are signed in up here now i can come over here and i can see that it has all of the assets that i'd acquired previously and if i were to come in here to let's say 3d assets see what we got here we can see the check marks of the ones that i have acquired inside of unreal here here's one that i have not acquired let's see if i click on it we can see that we can still come and we can still download it through the Quixel Bridge app inside of Unreal. We can still add it. Uh, let's come up here to one that I've already gotten before, like this one right here. Uh, we can see it's already downloaded. I can click add. We'll do that. And we'll see that it brings it up in my content browser just like it did before. So even though everything has moved to fab.com and eventually they're going to replace the Quixel Bridge app with a fab app, we can still use Quixel Bridge inside of Unreal. So in this case, Let's come back to it. And the one that I wanted was this one right here, a Desert Western Tree Stump Dead Medium 01. Uh, we'll do medium quality here. I'm going to click on download. And then once that's finished, I can click on add. And then it should be added to my content browser, Desert Western Tree Stump Dead Medium 01 right here. And we'll just drag this out into this scene here, just like that. So we can absolutely still use these Quixel assets, at least until the end of 2024 and we can still use Quixel Bridge inside of Unreal Engine itself. So that's convenient. They didn't take that away with the Fab Marketplace, but we do want to be on the lookout for when the actual Fab app comes out because after 2025, after 5.5 and beyond, I imagine they're going to sunset the Quixel app for anything after 5.5, might be 5.6, and then we'll have to learn how to use the Fab app for that. But for now, we can still use the Quixel Bridge app. So if you want to see how I put this scene together for my Mega Scans challenge style of rapidly building scenes in five days, as well as get access to my custom made assets, custom modeled, custom textured, as well as the blueprints that I put together to be able to change things on these, such as the text on these two 
tombstones, as well as get access to tools like my light studio here, which allows me to add things like human scale references, uh, lights that I've set up that are already optimized for usage in games, bounce card setups for allowing us to do essentially free lighting in games, and the ability to have a neutral setup for being able to create your materials and textures for assets inside a completely neutral environment, as well as learn all things working with Unreal. Don't forget to head over to unrealenginepro.com, check out my masterclass, which is really more like a library collection with both full courses and mini courses, as well as asset downloads, tool downloads, and things like that. Hope to see you there.